a quick FYI guys before we kick off uh, this particular video. This particular game does not have a title screen when you first boot up the game. It has a rather lengthy cutscene and sort of info dump about the game. So if there's ages of just cutscene and me not talking, that's why. Enjoy. In the year 2026 AD, the earth rage tectonic disturbance occurred around the world, splitting the earth into four terrestrial masses. Domination. War, disaster, and famine broke out in the Four Lands, and mankind fell into disarray. In the center of the world, a single tower rose steeply into the sky. It was a great structure looking down upon the earth from the heavens above. People believed that it held the key to the future. It became known as the Tower of Bar. A place at which one could come closest to God. Another new arrival. Looks like things are about to get busy around here. Okay, <laughs> hello and welcome to Let It Die. I would have loved to do an intro on the actual like title screen and kind of say what I'm about to do, but the game does not have a title screen when you first jump into the game. So you've just watched the intro and I probably would have thrown like a little disclaimer at the start to say, hey, if I don't talk for ages, this is why. But here we are at the start of the game on Let It Die, which is already really weird and we're not even into the game yet. My name's Amata, this is a Suda 5-1 game. So, you know what to expect. Apparently it's Dark Souls-esque, so I'm like, alright, cool, I'm down. So we can go for the lady, or we can go for the buff man. And of course I'm going to go for the lady. Well, they've got like Matrix-style holes in them, and a weird thing in their chest. I'm sure we'll find out. Let's, let's go. Oh, we can choose a, which lady we like. We have that lady, that lady, that lady, or that lady. Let's go with that lady. I feel like uh, she's the closest to myself. Well, I don't have that weird Zub Zero style mask. Senpai! <laughs> I was waiting for you. This is your first time riding Line 15, huh? I know. It's uh, not a very well known line, I admit. Um, anyway, this is the last stop. Let's turn the music down a bit because I'm a bit worried about like copyright stuff. Uh, actually, let's keep it for now. But if it, we have more copyrighted music, I'll have to take it down. So, uh, yeah, things are continuing to be weird. Oh, this this station looks pretty cool. I will admit. I mean, let's have a let's have a bit of a look around, shall we? We got death on a skateboard with. Weird whirly glasses following us around because of course we do. It's a Suda 5-1 game. What else what else could possibly happen at the start of your game? 
I mean, it's just logical when you think about it. <laughs> okay. okay. So how do we attack? Is it oh, R2? Alright. R2, L2. We can see our heart inside our body, which is fucking weird. Alright. Square is jump. Circle is block. And that's about it for now. Okay. Okay, we literally cannot go this way. Good to know. Okay. This is a very brightly lit uh, station for a dystopia, I've got to say. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, del delve into this madness, shall we? Made in hell. <laughs> I forgot to mention my name is Uncle Death. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get along just fine. Uh, Death's got some good moves on the skateboard. <laughs> as, as I say that, he falls off. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I have the lovely little notebook. How do I access my... Oh, okay, Underworld Rolodex. Now you have like information on characters, I guess. We don't have much information yet. Thank you, Metal! <laughs> uh, one Death Metal. <laughs> I'd like to collect my Death Metal, please. Alright, uh, we had a bunch of stats here which we have no use for them currently because we have no, like, anything. Can I come out of this please? I would like to come out of this now. Uh, get close, there we go. Alright. Very cool looking, I've got to say, the graphics are interesting, to say the least. Do, 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 do. Express only. Oh, we, we, we can go, but the gate is closed, so. Can I punch the gate? No. Oh, I can go that way, though. Oh. Thank you. Slightly less glamorous all the way down here, but you know. Is what it is. I cannot move, so it's very slowly watching ourselves ride up an escalator for no reason as it loads. Ikigara. Okay. I'd like to have some clothes if, if, if you'd be so good. Okay. Thanks, Uncle Death. You're the best. Ooh, what's this? How to operate. Okay, so we have left hand attack aim with the two handed gun is L2. Right hand attack is R2, as we already know. Jump is square. Interact is X. Guard. Dodge is circle. Map display is down. Alright. Alright. We have no map infos just yet, but we're getting a bit of bit of a grip on things. Much less glamorous where we are. Uh, you okay there, friend? I don't think he's okay. Oh god. Oh yeah, give him one. Ow. Nice. 
I just realised though, I was like, I was like, you know, Death sounds really quiet it's because he's coming through the dual shock. <laughs> okay, how do, I, how do I pick that up? It's not X. Uh, I'd like to have that weapon, please. All right, we have a thing now. How do you switch? Ah, okay. So you can switch between the two like that. Okay, that's interesting. A bit fiddly, but uh, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Okay, X. Many pieces of equipment are featured in the game. Equipment includes weapons, which may be equipped on the left or right by both hands. Three types of armour. Uh, durability. Okay, it has durability on weapons. Da -da -da -da. Death bags. Ah, okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. So, it's not Dark Souls exactly. But it is kind of, I guess. This move, is, in this game rather, you unleash rage moves, techniques which are stronger than regular attacks, blah 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 blah. Each time you deal damage to an enemy, your rage will build. This will increase in level to reach maximum. Hold square, sorry, triangle, can't talk today. As you attack to unleash a powerful rage move, your equipped weapon. Alright. Alright, alrighty. Ow! Holy crap! Alright, we need to get a Dark Souls mode. Okay, this weapon is really fucking slow. So I'm actually going to switch out of it. Ow! Oh shit! I can't. I was literally trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Thank you. Okay, so that was a mess, so I tried to let them kill me so I could kind of restart the fight over and have that be a bit smoother, but it turns out they can't actually kill you in this fight. So, yeah. Although, I did also notice, and I would have cut most of this out, so I don't... I'm just kind of explaining for expedience sake, that the health is regenerating, so I've kind of been standing here to let my health get up a little bit, but, uh... I think I'll just continue for now. I wasn't really overly keen on the hammer. It's very slow. I can kind of alternate between the two, I wonder, like... Hmm, can indeed. Well, you have to watch your heart rate, because if you run out of stamina, you would literally just pause and, like, get... Uh, it's like panting for breath, which in the middle of battle is not really good, so it's actually kind of more brutal than Dark Souls, in a way. Alright. So mushrooms, we can eat mushrooms, but it's not always going to be beneficial, so I kind of want an Isaac-style situation going on here. Alright. Oh, and also got some pants. As you can see. Okay, do not ever eat random mushrooms. Just want to, just want to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, well played. Well played. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. So, gear elements. Six types of equipment. Slashing, blood, piercing, fire, lightning, and poison. Two types of weapon at the same time. It's important to pay attention to the armour. The type of armour the enemy is wearing. Armour's defence value varies with the type. It's important to pay attention to enemies' weapons switch accordingly. Okay. We have a one-handed weapon. All right. All right. So I have a baseball bat as well. Sweet. 
though. You've got to be careful testing it out because I've already kind of half broken it. But still, I'm getting used to the game. Hi, um, uh, Want to give me some of those mushrooms? Uh, I mean, I don't have any mushrooms to give you, my friend. You can count on both mushrooms and beasts in this game. Let's look at how to throw mushrooms. Choose mushroom you wish to throw by flicking the touchpad to select one and click the left side of the touchpad to switch to throw mode. Uh, okay. Can I not just like go to the menu like a same person? I don't think I have any mushrooms to give you. I'm, I'm, I'm flicking the touchpad, it's it's not doing anything. Right, let's go see if maybe the mushrooms are grown back or something. Or maybe there's some down here. Ah, here we go. Alright. Let's make sure something else. Nope, we're good. Okay. No, I ate them! I didn't actually want to eat them. Oh, fuck. It, it said to flick the fucking touchpad, and that's what I did, and I ate them. Please tell me they're back. Okay. Why can't I just give her the mushrooms like a fucking insane person? Seriously, I can't just throw them from here? Let's see what this is again. So, throw mushrooms. Choose a mushroom you to throw by flicking the touchpad to select one and click the left side of the touchpad button to throw mode. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. Ah, there we go. Alright. There you go. Enjoy. Yeah. You're welcome, strange person. I'm out of water, which just makes me sad. Oh, there we go. Alright. Then we got a kind of a hang of that. It's a bit of a weird system. Why can't I just throw it with my inventory? It's a mystery for the ages. Gortastic attack. When you make an enemy groggy, that's when you unleash the Gortastic coup de gras. These moves are so awesomely brutal, you might even want to cover your eyes. Make an enemy groggy. By unleashing a continuous barrage of attacks on the enemy, you can make them groggy. Of course, come to your character as well, so take care. By approaching an enemy in a groggy state, hold triangle to press. I'm pressing an attack button. Right, okay, sounds good. Oh dear, this fella doesn't look friendly. Alright. Oh shit. Ow. Okay, I gotta remember that. Ah! Uh, fucking. Ow. Alright, they can damage each other, that's good to know. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, fucking hell. Ow. 
Alright, come on. I, I, did I do it? I don't think I did. Now we're doing it. Yes. Eat it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, thanks, Uncle Death. Wanna try again? Oh, wait. Let me put the title logo up real quick. You know how these things go. Sure do. Thank you for listening to this voice guidance system. Let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders of the Tower of Barbs. The Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island of South Tokyo. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance of 2026. The tower stands at 1686 feet. The equivalent of a 30-story building with super high ceilings. Many say that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. However, none have managed to survive the tower's horrific trials, and thus the tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb of the tower and experience the many wonders that it has to offer. You seem sleepy, so I turned it off. Huh? I'm talking about the Death Drive 128, of course, man. You were just playing it, remember? <laughs> hey, pretty cool, huh? Pretty badass. <laughs> it's the best game console ever, and this game, let it die. It's probably the greatest game ever made. Yeah! The goal of the game is pretty simple. Just make it to the top, of the Tower of Barbs. It's like a hack and slash, roguelike kind of a thing. What the? <laughs> hey, dude, you're a gamer, aren't you? Then you'll totally be fine. Just try it out. Uh, sure. Up for you. Thanks. I'm a bit confused, but uh, okay. <laughs> okay, all ready to go. Let's get started. Uh, I'll start the game. Okay.
best intro screen ever. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stop. No. All right. Press any button. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. So maintenance notice. Message from the team. Digital story is live. All right. Cool. Game start. Let it die. Wait. Is it literally starting me from the start? I, I'm confused. Could I have avoided being shot by that sniper just just now? I mean, I I guess so. Blah. I'm so confused. I mean. I I mean, I guess I could have avoided it because here I am back at the start, and I'm Iris and not Sandy. I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm uh, quite confused, to say the least. All right, so it's not exactly the same. Okay. Love your adventure. This is the right bottom. So it's blur. Words. This is the waiting room of the station of Bottom of Barbs. The last stop of line 15. Situation on the Tower of Barbs. String contains many interesting features. Okay. Alright, so we're actually in the game game now. That was kind of like the intro, I guess. Alright. Okay, Crest Rewards are placed in this box. Alright, so can I get my death metal now? I'd like to have one death metal, please. Oh, I didn't get the death metal. I'm sad. Storage chest, careful holding any materials. Okay, alright, so if I want to place items. Okay, so if I have items that I want to keep, I'll put them in there. Alright, simple enough. Chiku Funcha. Commodore Suzuki is the manager of the store. You can give him the blueprints and materials that you find in the town and also develop equipment. Blah 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 blah. And then you purchase weapons and items, sell items in possession, you request research and development, and strengthen equipment. Alright, this is like a blacksmith dude. Alright. I have no weapons for what to do anything with currently, but I might as well speak to the guy. Welcome. Our express service is all you need to climb the tower. Bring me the materials and blueprints. And I'll make anything. However, I'll be needing some of your things in return. I use that energy to make the goods. Get it? Uh. Your mustache choice is, um. interesting. <laughs> right, let's not go that way yet. Let's explore first. Cooking mushrooms. When you cook, you can cook mushrooms. Grow grill in them. Select a mushroom in position. If you wish to grill, click the touch 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 pad to get the throw mode. Grill the mushroom by approaching at fire and stage and pressing X. Some mushrooms cannot be grilled. So you can also just throw them to the fire and grill them. Okay, so you can just you just put it, hold it, or you can literally just throw it to the fire. Okay, that makes sense. What's oh, you? Hello. Mushroom Club. The shop opens after you rescue the Mushroom Magistrate, the owner of the shop. The deal with the skill to cows form from Mushroom Powder. Attaching to cows to a fighter's body would benefit you with various effects, many designs and functions. Okay. Uh, disappears after it's removed or after you die. Buy a skill day cows by using kill coins. You can sell them. You can trade. If you bring the bronze skill shroom, silver skill shroom, and the gold skill shroom, the Magistrate seeking to score, she will trade them. And you can also get mushroom stew. Okay. Can I speak to you? Certainly can. Oh. oh, how I've been waiting for you, fellow believer. In the power of 
Oh no, 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 no. Come again. I, I certainly will. You're an interesting lady. <laughs> uh, this is nothing, it seems. Okay. Alright. I think that's everything explored, yes? Uh, I think so. It's a, it's a bit of a slower look round. This is a funky looking fountain. So just admiring the scenery of this very strange place. You gotta know, you gotta love Suicide One's design, nothing else. Okay, you've teamed up with the insurance company Direct Hell to offer a special service to support players. It's called DH Service, blah 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 blah. <coughs> Apologies for some support there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Remember, you'll need some of the special currency in you know, the death metal to sign up, though. You can buy passes. You can also buy death metal in other packs. Exchange death metal for kill coins. Oh, so is this like the uh, premium currency? Okay, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, because this, this game is free to play, as weird as it sounds. Um, so there is microtransactions in it. Ooh, it's sparkling. I have to go look at it. Uncle Prime, the service where Uncle Death will deliver the player presents on the beloved Death and BL free of charge. It's not just a login bonus, it's Uncle Prime. Alright. Let's, let's see what he brought us as an early Christmas gift. Glinty Magnum. Cool. I love that. Can I access my... All right, so we have we have a gun. All right, probably don't want to have it out just yet. Right, I think that's me done for this uh, first part of Let It Die, where we got terribly confused, uh, figured out the battle controls kind of, but also failed horribly at the, sa at the same time, and we also have gotten into the game proper. So a predictably confusing start to this lovely game from Suda51, Let It Die. Of course, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, and as confused as I am. 